pick the wrong song. You pick the wrong song, but that's just a choice. It is a choice. It, whoever goes on to the next one has to be able to step it up because you're going for a million. I think in order to step it up, it's about choice. So Charlotte, I'm gonna give you Okay, it's time. The acts are tied at two judge votes each. So now the act, which got the most votes from you at home, will go through. Here we go. Based on America's vote, the act going into the semifinals is... In Global Youth Play! American Ninja Warrior, Monday, 8, 7 central on NBC. When you need to buy a car, but it's credit you lack, what you really need is someone who will cut you some slack, put you in the right direction, get your life on track. We've got your back. Go see Jack. If you're tired of being turned away from the new car dealerships, visit GoSeeJack.com and see just how easy getting a car loan can be. Shop our entire inventory online and get approved for a loan in minutes. Hope is just a click away. Come get the facts at GoSeeJack.com. Hi, this is Greg Haig. You've seen our 72-hour home selling program on TV, and you probably think it's about selling homes fast. But it's actually about selling your home at a higher price. We start with a massive advertising buildup before we let anyone in your door. Then we flood buyers through your home in a three-day period, creating a competitive environment to drive up your sale price. We are America's experts at creating bidding wars on homes, and we can do it for you. Just put in your address and get a price for your home at 72sold.com. Now from the 12 News Night team, a family's desperate search for a missing Marine. Just please come home. Find out how much one man is offering as a reward. One year after Senator John McCain's passing. Tonight, Cindy is telling me about her late husband's lasting legacy. I feel him everywhere. It's not just here, but it's, it's everywhere. It is a sticky start to the week with excessive heat returning. Okay, you know, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, this is crazy. Overwhelmed by support, one Valley family says thank you to those helping replace their son's stolen bike. 12 News at 10 starts right now. Our top story tonight, a big announcement by former Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Glad that you're with us. I'm Mike Gonzalez. Arpaio says he wants his old job back, so he's running once again for sheriff. Team 12's Antonio Mejia talked with him tonight. Antonio, so why does he want to run again? Former Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio says he has it in him to run again, and he says he's doing it for his supporters. I'm going to bring back the policies that have carried me through 24 years, the longest serving sheriff in the history of Maricopa County. From his office in Fountain Hills, Joe Arpaio says he already has a plan if he wins his former job back. Well, I'm gonna, I'll tell you one thing, I'm gonna get that tense back up. That's been a great program. How confident are you about winning your race? Well, I'll tell you one thing, I'm not doing this to get my name on television. I'm not doing it for money. I'm driven to do something for the people that have asked me to, to run again. And how confident are you about winning your race? Let me put it this way. If you think I'm running just to run, I'm running to win. This is very serious. I know it's going to be a bitter, vicious race. Arpaio lost in 2017, and he had an unsuccessful run in 2018. He also tells me he chose to make his announcement today because it's his wife's birthday and because it's also the anniversary of his pardon by President Trump. In Fountain Hills, Antonia Mejia, 12 News.
All right, Antonio, thanks so much. We are hearing how the other candidates for Maricopa County Sheriff are responding to our PIO's announcement. Jerry Sheridan said in part, quote, we need a professional and proven lawman to win this office back, and the voters have already made it clear they will not vote for Joe, so I will remain in this race and offer voters a 38-year veteran of the Sheriff's Office as a candidate who can win in 2020. At this point, we have not heard from current Sheriff Paul Penzone yet, but when he does make a statement, we'll certainly put it on our social media platforms and the brand new. 12 News app as well. Okay, so that brings us to the 12 News Bullhorn question tonight. Who would you vote for in the race for Maricopa County Sheriff? Would you vote for current Sheriff Paul Penzone, former Sheriff Joe Arpaio, or a brand new candidate? You can see the results on your screen right now. 77% with Paul Penzone, 18% with Joe Arpaio. A new candidate is at 5%. You can weigh in on tonight's poll. Just go to 12news.com slash bullhorn, or you can go to the brand new 12 News app. Other big news tonight, today marks the one year anniversary since the passing of Senator John McCain. It's certainly hard to believe that he's gone, but the Maverick leaving behind a lasting legacy in our state, country, and the world for that matter. Team 12's Caribe Devine had the opportunity to spend time at Cindy McCain's brand new home, and Caribe joins us now with more on the very personal and candid conversation about Cindy's new life since the Senator's passing and her pledge to keep his legacy alive. Caribe. A very personal conversation at home with Cindy McCain one year after Senator John McCain's passing. Tonight, Cindy is telling me about her late husband's lasting legacy for decades to come and how her life has changed over the past year. I hope he's watching over me. <laughs> I have a feeling he is. He's still in charge. <laughs> I, I'm almost certain that he's, he's watching over you. Yeah. Um, and speaking of, of that, I mean, if he were here and, and he could tell you how he would want you and your family to mark the mm -hmm. one-year anniversary mm -hmm. of his mm -hmm. passing. What do you think he would say? Well, I know what he would say because he said it before he passed away. He wants us to not mourn him, but to celebrate him. Mm -hmm. He had some specifics like play my playlist off iTunes <laughs> and stuff like that, which his playlist was kind of famous because we listened to it all the time. So, <laughs> so, so we're going to crank that back up. And then, of course, on his birthday, we're holding a big birthday party for him. Well, none of that sounds somber. No, it's not. No, he, John did not want us to mourn or to be sad or anything. It, Just recently, you have made a call for action. Yes. Calling for uh, people to be more civil mm -hmm. in politics. Why mm -hmm. is that important to you? Well, I, I, as we all know, this, the political climate right now is extremely hazardous. I mean, everyone has chosen sides. They're in their corners. Uh, no one is working together. No one is talking to each other. Instead, they're, they're fighting either over social media or you know, on the floor or wherever it may be. Um, my um, hashtag acts of civility is basically what this is, is I'm encouraging people to go out and, and, and perform acts of civility. Find someone you disagree with or find someone you don't like that you've been, maybe have been at odds for years or something, and just sit down and talk you can agree to disagree, but do it civilly and then post about it. I want people to talk about it. Well, you're back in the neighborhood in I Central am. Phoenix where, <laughs> I am. where you grew up. Uh -huh. is, yes. th is this a comfortable space for you? Yes, this is, this is a safe space, a comfortable space. I grew up literally a half a block up the street and uh, went to school, all through school, everything here. So John and I actually talked about this before he passed and I'd mentioned that I might move back up and he was actually very happy for me. That I was going to do that. He knew. He knows how much I love this neighborhood. Well, he's never been in this house, obviously, no. but his um, presence is everywhere. <laughs> I was going to say. I mean, I'm looking at all the the pictures of him, and there's, I mean, a, a lifetime yeah. of of events that the two of you have been through. Do you, you feel him here, and in, in what way? I do. I feel him. I feel him everywhere. It's not just here, but it's it's everywhere. Um, he was such an incredibly uh, distinguished statesman, uh, and when people stop me, every, which they do, uh, pretty much everywhere, and s either say, "Gosh, you know, I'm so sorry," or "Gosh, we miss him," whatever it is. I mean, he really is. His presence is everywhere for me. If there was anyone mm -hmm. in your family who mm -hmm. you could maybe see running for political office, mm -hmm. who would that be? Well, you know, John and I encourage service from a very young age at, at any level, whatever it may be. So there are many McCains mm -hmm. that, that believe in, in continued service and 
and uh, hopefully it's in politics. Maybe it, it's just the military. I don't know. Okay. But um, but I, they're all and they're all very politically different. They're uh -huh. all. I, John used to be, be. It was so funny. He would at the dinner table would uh, would like lob a grenade in the middle of the table and start this crazy discussion and l look at them go. You know, watch all of them. They're all four <laughs> different. He, the, ours. It was a lot of fun, actually. But you know, he taught them that, that you to be civil was mm -hmm. number one. You could you could disagree but you could do it with with honor and dignity and and enjoy the process and so consequently they're all very very different very exciting kids <laughs> what about you no 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 I'm 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 done my job again is with my kids mm -hmm. and with my uh, with my family and I'm happy doing that and as you know I'm the chairman of the McCain Institute now so that's a very big job I had it's, it's an institute that's worldwide and I have to make sure that John's legacy is is cared for and maintained Right now on the 12 News app, Cindy gives me a tour of her home and tells me about her favorite places here in the Valley and in Arizona. All right, Kariba, thanks so much. Certainly appreciate Cindy giving us such an intimate look. Thoughts and prayers with her family as they continue to mourn. And today on the anniversary of Senator McCain's passing, we are hearing from his family. Cindy again tweeting, 365 days without you, John. America lost its most well-known maverick and we lost our rock. Senator McCain's son, Jack, tweeting a picture of him and the senator hiking and said, as much as I would like to find the words today, I cannot, he is deeply missed. And Megan McCain tweeted yesterday saying, last August 25th was the worst day of her life. She said she lost her hero and misses her father every single day. Governor Doug Ducey also released a statement on the anniversary of John McCain's death, saying in part, John McCain was more than Arizona's U.S. Senator, he was America's Senator. I said last year, imagining Arizona without John McCain is like picturing Arizona without the Grand Canyon. Today we know that while he's gone, his legacy endures. You can read Governor Doug Ducey's full statement and find much more from Caribe's interview with Cindy McCain on the 12 News app right now. New at 10, the search is on for a missing Marine. Jesse Conger has been missing for more than a week now, and police report he had suicidal thoughts before disappearing. Now a philanthropist is offering a $10,000 reward for information to help bring him home. Team 12's Michael Doudna talked with the family tonight about their search and how you can help. Michael. Jesse Conger spent years overseas as a Marine, then as part of a search and rescue team trying to save lives. But now his family is hoping that people can help find and save him. I love you so much, Jesse. For 37 years, Patricia Conger's life has included Jesse, a father, a veteran, and her twin brother. When we graduated high school, he turned a cartwheel on the stage to go pick up his diploma. But for the last 11 days, Jesse missing. Scottsdale police say his girlfriend, Natasha Harwell, was the last to see him at a South Scottsdale apartment. They say he disappeared after making suicidal comments. Whatever is going on, we will face it together. We will face it as a family, as a team. We will fight everything off. Just please come home. Jesse, like so many veterans, suffers from PTSD. He served multiple tours overseas and was a diver with search and rescue helping save lives while living with the trauma. And the trauma that they've witnessed, it just sticks inside of them and it eats them alive. He needs to know that he's not alone. And the family is not alone with their search. Bill Pulte, a philanthropist and founder of Pulte Group, is offering a $10,000 reward as the story tries to spread on social media. I'm so amazed with how, how sincere everyone is. But so far, the searches have been unsuccessful. Jesse's IDs, credit cards, keys, all left in Scottsdale. His family, though, not giving up hope and is pleading for Jesse to come home. I don't think I ever thought that I would be alive without my twin brother. He's always been with me, and I, I want you to come home, Jesse. Please, please get home and don't leave me ever again. I love you so much, Jesse. Jesse may be driving a Toyota Camry that was from 2015 with Nevada plates. Now we have the number for Scottsdale police to contact and more details on the story online at 12news.com and of course on our brand new 12 News app. Michael Doudna, 12 News. All right, Michael, such a heart-wrenching story. We certainly hope he's found safe. Coming up next on 12 News at 10, one week after a special needs teen here in the Valley had his bike stolen, one company is helping him find a new way to get around town.
Plus, one man's mission in life is to help people find that dream job, no matter how crazy it may be, how this guy, Dream Job Tom, can help you out. That's coming up next on 12 News at 10. And I'm Jen Wall in with a look at your weather forecast. We have excessive heat returning for the start of your week. We'll tell you just how hot it's expected to get and when those hottest conditions make their way to the valley. Toyota's national clearance event is on. It's time to save on the last of the 2019s. Congratulations. Congrats. Right now, lease a new 2019 RAV4 Hybrid for just $239 a month. Or lease the all-new 2020 Corolla sedan for just $199 a month. How long should we do this? Well, the event doesn't end until September 3rd. Toyota, let's go places. The 2019 Escalade is made for summer. And made to move. Current eligible non-GM owners and lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Cadillac Escalade from around $899 per month. I knew I needed weight loss surgery when diet and exercise just weren't enough. That's when I turned to the Weight Loss Institute of Arizona. The Weight Loss Institute of Arizona is with me every step of the way. It's not just about surgery. It's about success. The 2019 Cadillac XT5 is made for summer and made to move. Current eligible Audi, BMW, and Infiniti lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2019 XC5 from around 322 per month. From the producers of The Good Place in Brooklyn 99. In school, our dad would have one conversation with our teacher and we'd get all A's. He bribed them? I wouldn't call getting your family back a bribe, but sure. Sunnyside, Thursdays this fall on NBC. Because every day is a juggling act. Because building tomorrow starts today. Because the future is counting on you. Midfirst Bank will always be true to your money. With the latest innovations to equip your business for success. Midfirst Bank, true to your money. Just announced, it's back, it's bigger, and it's better. The Labor Day sales event is back at your Desert Ford dealers. It's bigger, huge savings only during the sales event. And it's better. Get F-150 with 20% estimated savings, plus 1,000 on top of your trade and 750 bonus cash. That's 20% savings on F-150. The Ford Labor Day sales event. It's back, it's bigger, and it's better. But it ends September 3rd. Visit your Desert Ford dealers now. Welcome back to 12 News at 10. A Valley teen with special needs will get to ride a bike that was specially designed for him once again. His bike was stolen last weekend right out of his family's own backyard, but now a local company has stepped up to get him a replacement. Team 12's Colleen Sikora met with that family today who says they are overwhelmed by all the support. What a difference a week can make. What you know, started out as just very disheartening has turned into very heartwarming. Stephanie and Bjorn Rankin's son Bubba was born with a genetic disorder which leaves him nonverbal and using a wheelchair. And this adaptive bike allowed him to ride alongside his family. It's you know that one time when things aren't all about uh, what can he do or not do or you know about therapy. He's being a kid, he's doing something. And to see the smile on his face and everything is just it gets you, you know. But last weekend, the family woke up to find the expensive bike was stolen right out of their backyard. Who does that? Who comes to take a special needs kid's bike? Stephanie's post on Facebook was shared more than 90,000 times. And then an AMS Vans employee noticed she shared their story with us. He noticed that they were driving one of our vehicles. And he said, is there anything we can do to help them? And I looked over at my CEO who was sitting right next to me and he goes, absolutely, like, let's get him a new bike. A little bit of research and a short while later. OK, you know, that's awesome. Wow. You know, this is crazy. AMS Vans was helping the family get a bike ordered. We went for a brand new one. It's um, instead of blue, it's going to be lime green. Um, they picked it out, um, all the adaptions that they needed just to make it just perfect for Bubba. It's just so exciting that, you know, this is even happening. So the moments, the smiles. It, it's just going to be so wonderful that we can get back out there, you know, and go for our little rides and our walks. Can continue.
Colleen Sikora, 12 News. All right, Colleen, thanks so much. What a great story. The bike is expected to be made and delivered in about two weeks. And another company has also offered to get Bubba hooked up with a helmet and lock for that bike. If you'd like to help kids like Bubba receive those specialized equipment, we've got a link where you can donate on the 12 News app. All right, let's shift gears. Let's talk weather with Jen Wall now. Looks like monsoon chances a little bit slim right now, but it is going to stay hot. I was reading your note earlier in the night. Oh. It is so unfortunate. I <laughs> come in every day. I check the weather forecast and I'm like, today's the day it's going to happen. Right? We're going to get those storms and they just don't want to happen this summer. So temperatures outside, like you said, it's just hot. We're still at 96 in Phoenix, Scottsdale, 95 in Deer Valley across the valley, 89 in Gilbert, little brighter spot there. A little breezy this evening too, up to about 11 miles per hour in Glendale out at Lake Pleasant it was about 12 miles per hour a couple minutes ago. Saddle light radar just bone dry clear. Now it's humid outside, so you do have that moisture, but we don't have that action we need to get the thunderstorms and there's a little storm activity far south of Arizona and in Mexico. That's about it. It's been very slim. So 60s right now in Flagstaff, beautiful up north 70s in Sholo. Dew points in the 60s in Phoenix and it's going to stay very humid this week, especially for the start of it. We'll stay in the 90s through about 3 a.m. this evening and then tomorrow for your Monday morning getting the kids out to school temperatures are going to crank up very quickly into the 90s by 9 a.m. Looking ahead Tuesday and Wednesday we have excessive heat watches in effect for the valley that's affecting more than 4 million people with temperatures hovering around 110. Your exclusive monsoon meter at a zero for the entire state tomorrow and the next four days. We're just not expecting much action here. You can see that on your future cast. We don't really have any storms at all popping up until Tuesday, and even those are very slim in the far eastern part of the state. So tomorrow, wind speeds only at about 5 to 10 miles per hour in the valley. Your high of 108 for your Monday. Here's those very hot temperatures. Tuesday and Wednesday will be close to record setting highs on Tuesday, 113 there with your forecasted high of 111. And then Monday, Mike, you're wondering when we could get some storms here in the Phoenix area. We have a slim, slim chance Saturday, Sunday, but it's Labor Day weekend. So I know folks are like, oh, man, we didn't want storms on Labor Day. No, hey, there's a bright side to that. We, all, <laughs> we, we know these hot temperatures. They, they'll break sometime in November. All right, thanks a lot. Okay, coming up on 12 News at 10, are you working your dream job right now, or do you simply hate going to work every day? Well, one man is looking to help find your dream job, even if it means a complete career change. you got to stick around for this. 12 Sports is sponsored by your Valley Toyota dealers. Heading to Toyota's National Clearance Event. We got great deals for all our friends. Better get here before the end of the song. The last of the 2019s won't last long. Right now, get low 1.9% APR financing or 1500 cash back on a new 2019 Camry. Or lease a new Camry LE today for just $249 a month. Save on the last of the 2019s. Toyota. Let's go places. Well, 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 what have we here? A magical place that's looking to get scared. With bats and ghouls and cars in disguise. I've cast quite a spell now. You won't believe your eyes. <laughs> the spell is cast. Halloween time is back with spectacular experiences in Disneyland and Disney California Adventure Parks. Just announced, it's back, it's bigger, and it's better. The Labor Day sales event is back at your Desert Ford dealers. It's bigger, huge savings only during the sales event. And it's better, get F-150 with 20% estimated savings, plus 1,000 on top of your trade and 750 bonus cash. That's 20% savings on F-150. The Ford Labor Day sales event. It's back, it's bigger, and it's better. But it ends September 3rd. Visit your Desert Ford dealers now. New AC unit. Hey man, I was here first. Hey, I'm just down here. I always get free estimates. It's a lot easier if you just go to newacunit.com. They do all the homework for you. All right, thank you. Will you excuse me for a moment? At newacunit.com, get 50% off conventional estimates with no sales pressure. Guaranteed installation and guaranteed warranties. Save thousands, save time. Buy online. 
breakthrough in shopping is here. The Conslo Payment Finder finds the lowest payment tailored to you. Good credit or building credit. In now, during the four-day Labor Day Big Red Tag event at Cons Home Plus, the more furniture you buy, the more freebies you get. Plus, get a free adjustable base with your mattress purchase. Four amazing days to turn this into this and this into this. Only from Cons Home Plus. Twelve Sports is sponsored by your Valley Toyota dealers. Welcome back to 12 News at 10. Do you have a money-making idea that you'd like to see take off in the business world? Okay, so really think about this for a second, folks. If you could have any job in the entire world, what would it be? Well, a new reality show called Dream Job Tom is helping people make their dream job become a reality. Team 12's Trisha Hendrick caught up with him to find out if you have what it takes to audition for his show. 20 years ago. I kind of went from corporate America to career coaching. Meet Tom Kurtz. He's the face of the new reality show, Dream Job Tom. I've interviewed thousands of people on behalf of companies. I've helped hundreds of people get out of what they don't like and into what they love. And he's seen it all, just about everyone he's crossed paths with. Most people are not doing the job that they really love, and they're frustrated, and they'd rather be doing something else. So Kurtz put together a plan, a program to change that. Jumping out of perfectly good airplanes, Whitewater rafting, race car driving, we'll take them up to the Grand Canyon, we'll do parasailing, all kinds of things in order to help them to face their fears, internal and external, and help them to realize, I can do more things than I thought I could. And that's what his new reality show is all about, and they're looking for people to feature. What we're looking for in the audition, somebody in one industry who wants to transition into a completely different one and doesn't know how to make that change for them to be able to access that talent and that passion and really turn that into the job of their dreams. As far as Kurtz is concerned, nothing is impossible. From biker to baker, banker to science fiction writer, and mobster, to Coney Island stand operator. Everyone deserves their dream job. Everyone. Whether it's on his new reality show or not. I encourage everybody, find your fun. This is the moment where your dream job comes to life. And to go after it. In Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. All right, Trish, thanks a lot. Next on 12 News at 10, Rolling Stones fans, you might not always get what you want, but you will tomorrow. We are taking a look at how State Farm Stadium is getting ready for some rock and roll. All after this, stick around. It's an exciting time at Kia with great products. And with 12 IIHS top safety picks, you'll find the Kia that's perfect for you. This Labor Day weekend, get 0% APR plus 750 Labor Day bonus cash on the purchase of a new 2020 Sportage. This is how we do the summertime, summertime. Year, squeeze even more summer out of your summer. Summertime. Save big on all 2019s during the Hyundai Epic Summer Clearance and make your summer better than ever. The Hyundai Epic Summer Clearance. Get up to 3500 in savings or 0% APR for 72 months on the Tucson. Only at your Valley Hyundai dealers. What's better than celebrating life's moments in a home you love? Knowing that you furnished it all at incredible values. Shop the Living Spaces Labor Day event, where you'll find amazing deals for the entire home. Plus, pay no interest for three years on select purchases with your good credit. Shop these and other great deals while supplies last at the Living Spaces Labor Day event and begin the new season in style. Living Spaces. Just announced, it's back, it's bigger, and it's better. The Labor Day sales event is back at your Desert Ford dealers. It's bigger, huge savings only during the sales event, and it's better. Now sign and ride a new Fusion for $229 a month, or lease Escape for only $249 a month. That's with zero cash due, zero first month's payment, and zero down. The Ford Labor Day sales event. It's back, it's bigger, and it's better. Sign and ride starts August 29th, only at your Desert Ford dealers. When you need to buy a car, but it's credit you lack, what you really need is someone who will cut you some slack, put you in the right direction, get your life on track. We've got your back. GoSeeJack.com The new car dealerships kept telling me no, but GoSeeJack.com made it super easy. I got approved for a great deal in minutes. I didn't think I'd ever get the car I wanted, but I went to GoSeeJack.com, and now it's all mine. Hope is just a click away. Come get the facts at GoSeeJack.com
It's an exciting time at Kia with great products. And with 12 IIHS top safety picks, you'll find the Kia that's perfect for you. This Labor Day weekend, get 0% APR plus 750 Labor Day bonus cash on the purchase of a new 2020 Sportage. All right, welcome back to 12 News at 10. Before we go, we've got one last thing for you. Are you one of those people that just can't get no satisfaction? Well, then we have a good way to start you up. That is right. The Rolling Stones are in town tomorrow for a concert at State Farm Stadium. Today, production crews were out at the stadium getting everything ready for Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and company to take the stage for their first appearance in the Valley since 2006. Well, the band was scheduled to be in the Valley back in May, but the concert had to be pushed back because of surgery for Mick Jagger. I, I got to go to that concert. You do? You're I saying know. you're not going to go. You're going to go. He doesn't have many left in him. Post about it. <laughs> have a good night, everybody. Get Accords, Edmunds' most wanted vehicle on clearance for $249 a month. During Honda's Summer Spectacular event, Honda's award-winning Accords are on sale for $249 a month. Accord, car and driver's 10 best, a record 33 times. On sale for only $249 a month. It's our most impressive Honda ever. Loaded with more options, including a turbocharged engine and Honda Sensing for less than the competition. Just $249 a month, today at your Valley Honda dealers. PXG Gen 2 drivers aren't just sexy, they're engineered for explosive performance. With the speed enhancing carbon fiber crown, variable thickness face design, signature perimeter weighting, and honeycomb technology, all custom fitted to provide unmatched distance and outstanding accuracy for every swing and skill level. Schedule your fitting today. We're PXG, nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. Do the honors or should I? I don't know. Hey, bro, we're not done with an open gym, bro. I'll get that all season, bro. Come on, man. Let's work on our game, bro. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the plays of our lives. I'm telling you, don't double book during open gym. Hey, look, look, come here. Come, stop it. Stop you it. Look, Devin Booker it isn't the only one trying to work out of a double team <laughs> when it's not group? necessary. <laughs> what do you mean? Just read the prompt. Kyler Murray Just read the prompt. in his final preseason tune-up. It's opening week for the Sun Devils. And, yeah, we'll see what it takes to be a GCU Havoc. Plus, the GOAT is back. 12 Sports Tonight starts right now without a double. Cooper, you okay? I think I elbow checked you. You sure? All right, we start with our best of the night. Never before has it been so good to be a golfer. And good at golf, by the way. Rory McIlroy won big today. He not only won the Tour Championship out at Eastlake, but Rory also won the FedEx Cup, meaning he got a $15 million payday. Must be nice. He also uh, uh, pushed a new PGA single season earnings record. $22.8 million this season, surpassing Jordan Spieth's 2016 record of $22 million. It pays to play a lot of golf and be great at it. I think just so so much golf. This is six out of seven weeks for me. Um, it, there's a really strong push at the finish. Um, you know, I, I, I played hard in New York and then in Chicago, then here. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm pretty tired, but I'm about to enjoy a few drinks tonight, so. Guys, myself and our producer, Matt Johnson, are going to take after Rory. We're going to play a lot of golf. Uh, check out this Rory walking off the course and showing that money sign. Yeah, that's the best of the night. 
All right, new today from the Cardinals. Rookie receiver Hakeem Butler's season is over. The Cardinals placing him on injured reserve with a broken hand. Because the move was made before the Cardinals finalized their 53-man roster, Butler is not eligible to play at all this season. He's also not allowed to practice with the team, but can attend meetings and other team functions. And how about that, guys? They also made some news in terms of cutting three linebackers and... This is before the Saturday cut down to 53 men. Yeah, I agree. You know, yeah. camp is over, uh, but the football season is just getting started. Uh, we're one preseason game away, guys, from real football. The scoreboard says the Cardinals got whooped by the Vikings. Well, they didn't win, but they didn't necessarily lose either. But at least we can all say they silenced the critics for now, at least until week <laughs> one. The first team offense got going. And they got into rhythm and put some points on the board. It's Kyler about Murray, time. It's about time. Kyler Murray put up NFL QB-like numbers. 14 of 21 for 137 yards. 105 of that was to his two favorite targets, Keyshawn Johnson and Demir Bird. Murray hit on some chunk plays, but was unable to finish in the red zone, settling for three field goals. But we now know Cliff can call positive plays. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a great thing. Mm -hmm. And Murray can move the offense down the field. And since Ooh. Kyler is not playing in the preseason finale Thursday, this performance was much needed. I enjoyed getting to play as much as we did today just because, you know, it, it was close to the real thing. So, uh, kind of happy with how it went. Obviously, we didn't put the ball in the end zone, but um, that'll come. He was really good at, you know, uh, changing the plays when they needed to be changed, out of building the plays, uh, changing the protections. Um, you know, and you know, if you think about it, this is only still his third game as a rookie, and uh, he'll be good. I don't want to get into specifics of what our offense will look like, um, but I think we were a little more game plan specific this week. We had installations, things of that nature, and I felt like the, the sense of urgency to start the game was, was much improved from a week ago because of that. Now defensively, the numbers say the Cardinals got worked yet again on the ground, giving up 190 rushing yards to the Vikings. However, 85 of those yards came on one play, and the Cardinals actually showed some physicality up front thereafter, despite not showcasing much in terms of schemes and packages. They were also able to generate some pass rush and press pressure on Kirk Cousins. Hey, the Cardinals special teams were steady and solid in both coverage and returns. Place kicker Zane Gonzalez accounted for all the Cardinals scoring. The former Sun Devil was a perfect three for three in field goals with a long of 47 yards. Zane has been outstanding through the first three preseason games, converting all six of his field goal attempts, including a 55-yarder. Well, the Cardinals offense finally shows some life in moving the ball effectively against the Vikings, but... They still can't figure out how to snap the darn Not ball. Not that hard. <laughs> the snap clap confusion continues to cause problems. Ugh. And check out the video the Cardinals broadcast team put together. This was fantastic. They did a great job finding examples of other QBs across the league doing all kinds of claps and high knees. Anything you can think of before the snap. And no flat, guys. Slide to the left. Slide, Slide to, to the, the right. right. Uh, those guys were doing the cha-cha slide, and it's okay. But Cardinals quarterback Brett, Brett Hundley can do that and get flagged. Come on. Hundley was called for two false starts last night because of that snap clap. The refs told him his hands have to start in front of his body prior to the clap, which is difficult because when you clap, your hands are naturally outside of you. Confused? Yeah, so is Hundley. I, I have no idea. I just <laughs> I have no idea, you guys. Are you at the point where you'd just rather not even use it? At this point, yeah, we're just going on one every time. Yeah. So I hope defenses know. <laughs> we're going on one every time. We have no idea until we get this figured out. I think we just want fairness and knowing that, like, you know, other quarters can say hike and or right. they can say hut hut. Yeah. Why can't we clap or you know fake clap? We can't fake clap. We can't clap. Yeah. We can't bring our hand outside when that's how we clap in the first place. I have no idea right now. Guys, I don't think I've ever heard a quarterback just tell everybody we're going to go on one. That might be a first. All right, signed, sealed, and delivered. Veteran wideout Michael Crabtree. Look at that. Officially signing with the Cardinals today. You see him in the red polo. Uh, the soon-to-be 32-year-old is expected to come in and play ASAP. All right, well, did you stay up and catch the end of the U of A game? If so, you probably said, what in the what? Did I just see? This is how crazy this game was. Arizona forced six turnovers, yet it still wasn't enough versus Hawaii, who racked up almost 600 yards and 45 points. But the Wildcats had a chance. Here they are, last play of the game. U of A down a score. Khalil Tate looked for TD pass number four, but it wasn't there. He takes off. 
and he's tackled at the one yard line and it is game over. It gives me flashbacks to Titans wideout Kevin Dyson in Super Bowl 34 and Kurt Warner leading the Rams to a Super Bowl win by one yard. But hey, let's take one more look. Watch the defensive lineman from Hawaii, a nose tackle. He's going to make the tackle. Go! If you follow.